breaking traders this mark let's have a quick look at the indices before we go on to a stock that has caught my eye today Dow pretty quiet day not a very big range although interestingly we had this reversal at about five past four today uh, it's not a lot but it's there it's interesting it's taken out that level that we're looking at uh, that support level that's been there for a few days although it has crept back up on it now just as I post this video um, so I'm going to keep an eye on the intraday low to see what happens but it's not that active I'm not that excited by the Dow at the moment I just want to see that resolve itself one way or the other same with the DAX yesterday was the better day to be trading the DAX today is just sort of digestion which you tend to get after a big trend day to be honest you know if you've had a big move uh, you tend to get a little bit more digestion after taking after prior after probing, should I say, uh, the high or the low of the trend, depending on which way the direction is. So we've got that probe early on, and now it's just sitting down there digesting what's going on. Uh, Currency-wise, the pound is pretty interesting. This little tabletop type pattern we've got here, ramped up in the morning, double topped at a prior. A uh, big, big level that we've got from uh, quite a long time ago. That's a thick level I've got on my chart. You can see some support back there, resistance a few days ago. Struggled with that and rolled over. That's going to potentially trap a few. Um, I'm not. Tr I haven't got anything on that at the moment, but I'm definitely watching that because that is. Uh, if we do continue lower, and let's say we start pr probing below that 130 with, with conviction. Obviously, that's the big level that everyone's looking at the big psychological level of 1.3 you know if we close below that or if we can do some work below that and start to consolidate below that we are sort of doing it but not been there for long uh, then it could open up the uh, recent low from uh, after the brexit 1.278 or so about a few weeks ago so definitely keep in mind on that US dollar yen uh, very quickly is rolling over not a very big day on it. it's bounced off the lower touch off that 101 level it's got the five minute chart bounced off that 101 level crept back up starting to let's just see if it rolls over again um, yeah, the daily does look weak but we'll just see if that rolls over I've got a I still think we tagged that 100 again at some point um, maybe this week it's easily easily possible uh, if not early next week um, so keep in mind that but one of the things that's caught my eye today with my scan is Yelp US stock Yelp they had earnings out today and they have obliterated um, the expectations they were expecting a loss I believe of a couple of cents and end up making a surprise profit and they're up today let's see exactly what they're up they're up 15 percent so big move on Yelp uh, currently near the highs Let's look at the daily chart in a second or sort of the intraday chart in a, in a second should I say but you know what what's interesting to me and I always like to look at this when there's upside move on stocks that have had a pretty bad pretty bad move you look on the monthly chart look where we've come from we're, we're at 100 at one point and now we're drifting down we're sort of recovering off that low so there is some upside to go but anyway Forget about that that longer time frame chart. We're not really interested in that. Just purely to see where we are in terms of the bigger picture. What I'm interested in, what I'm interested in, is a quite a big short float. It's about 12%. Uh, it's not massive. You know, sometimes we get short floats that are really huge. But you know, it's interesting because it's not it's not it's not low either, and it's quite a few. There's quite not not many shares um, in issue which can cause a little bit of spike to the upside so I would imagine that those shorts are probably going to want to cover um, if this carries on so technically let's have a look uh, on a five minute chart that's the big level that's the one I've got my alert set for uh, I want to see if we break that this evening so in other words before the close at nine o'clock UK time I want to see if we can push above that 37.50 uh, for a, a two or three day move if not if there's not a trade on there then potentially I want to see where it closes tonight maybe then watch it tomorrow and, and see and obviously my risk my general risk is going to be below the low but I want it tighter than that that's why I'd like to see us pushing up above it consolidating and then I can use an, a tighter stop under that 37 so maybe 36.90 as a stop level only if we get above that though I'm not taking it just yet I want to see the afternoon break um, if we don't get that then the other theory I have on this which may well be if we maybe consolidate 
take out that low maybe in the, ne in the next few days or early next week and then we start to pick up a short think well you know what that's a little bit of an opportunity to cover so a couple of ways of playing that just want to see how we respond today that 37.50 and where we close so that's yelp us stock okay guys take care back again tomorrow